Good morning, and welcome to St. Catharines as we celebrate the 13th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our celebrant for this morning's Mass is Father Dennis, and as one family gathered around the table of the Lord, let's now take some time to greet and welcome those around us. Let's stand and sing together our opening song, Amazing Grace. Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And your spirit. Jesus says, Do not be afraid in the gospel to Jairus today, whose daughter is dying. Difficult as it was for Jairus, it may seem to be even harder for us sometimes. But we know that he, we have the Lord who is there to support us, and we give thanks to God for his ever presence in our lives. So now, let us pause and ask the Lord for his forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you heal the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life. Christ have, mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you raise us to faith and renewal. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Glory, glory to God in the highest. Glory, glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. God in the highest glory, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. 
take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You who are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. Glory, glory to God in the highest. Glory, glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of good God in the highest glory, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. chose us to be children of light, grant we pray that we may be not wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. God did not make death, nor does he rejoice in the destruction of the living. For he fashioned all things that they might have being, and the creatures of the world are wholesome. And there is not a destructive drug among them, nor any domain of the netherworld on earth, for justice is undying. For God formed man to be imperishable. The image of his own nature, he made him. But by the envy of the devil, death entered the world, and they who belong to his company experience it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will praise you, Lord, for you 
have rescued me. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, as you excel in every respect, in faith, discourse, knowledge, all earnestness, and in the love we have for you, may you excel in this gracious act also. For you know the gracious act of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, for your sake he became poor, so that by his poverty you might become rich. Not that others should have relief while you are burdened, but that as a matter of equality, your abundance at the present time should supply their needs, so that their abundance may also supply your needs, that there may be equality. As it is written, whoever had much did not have more, and whoever had little did not have less. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Our Savior Jesus Christ destroyed death and brought life to light through the gospel. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. And Phil, just check and we're doing the long version, right? When Jesus had crossed again in the boat to the other side, a large crowd gathered around him, and he stayed close to the sea. One of the synagogue officials named Jairus came forward. Seeing him, he fell at his feet and pleaded earnestly with him, saying, My daughter is at the point of death. Please come, lay your hands on her, that she may get well and live. He went off with him, and a large crowd fell, followed him and pressed upon him. There was a woman afflicted with hemorrhages for 12 years. She had suffered greatly at the hands of many doctors and had spent all that she had. Yet she was not helped, but only grew worse. She had heard about Jesus and came up behind him in the crowd and touched his cloak. She said, if I but touch his clothes, I shall be cured immediately. Her flow of blood dried up. She felt in her body that she was healed of her affliction. Jesus, aware at once that power had gone from him, turned around in the crowd and asked, Who has touched my clothes? But his disciples said to Jesus, You see, how the crowd is pressing upon you, and yet you ask, who touched me? And he looked around to see who it was. The woman, realizing what had happened to her, approached in fear and trembling. She fell down before Jesus and told him the whole truth. He said to her, daughter, your faith has saved you. Go in peace 
and be cured of your affliction. And while he was still speaking, people from the synagogue official's house arrived and said, your daughter has died. Why trouble the teacher any longer? Disregarding the message that was reported, Jesus said to the synagogue official, do not be afraid, just have faith. He did not allow anyone to accompany him inside except Peter, James, and John, the brother of James. And when they arrived at the house of the synagogue official, he caught sight of a commotion. People were weeping and wailing loudly. So he went in and said to them, why this commotion and weeping? The child is not dead, but asleep. And they ridiculed him. Then he put them out. He took the child's father and mother, those who were with him, and entered the room where the child was. He took the child by the hands and said to her, Talitha Paum, which means, little girl, I say to you, arise. The girl, a child of 12, arose immediately and walked around. At that they were utterly astonished. He gave strict orders that no one should know this and that she should be given something to eat. The Gospel of the Lord. This is my last weekend as your pastor. And I've been writing in the bulletin for the last several weeks, kind of looking back, kind of also looking forward uh, to my retirement. So I have one last time to speak uh, to you about that today. I had a parishioner, and by the way, I gave a... Uh, I gave a call uh, this past uh, Saturday morning. Who received the call? Oh, good, good, good. And uh, it was kind of my little greeting and my little uh, thank you call to all of you. Well, I had a parishioner who uh, was leaving Mass and uh, said to me, well, Father, did you have fun here at St. Catherine? Well, I guess that's, that's a fair question. And I have to say, yes, I had fun indeed. You know, and what does fun even mean? Well, it's not the fun of laughing, but a fun of enjoying yourself. And I enjoyed my ministry here at St. Catherine. I've enjoyed my my priesthood here at St. Catherine. And I, I enjoyed uh, sharing in that ministry with so many different people. And ultimately, we come here as a reminder, a reminder that what is really most important in life? Well, surely, there are many, many important things. As families, you've got to be loving to each other, husband and wife. You've got to be loving to, to children and children, loving to your parents, grandparents. All that, all those relationships are most important. But what goes beyond that is a reminder that our relationship with Jesus should, it should be the most important relationship. And that we, hopefully, when my ministry here, 
through the through the prayers, through the sacraments, uh, through the many different ways that we've had, that you are, you have grown in your love for Jesus, and that you have grown in your love for one another, and becoming more loving people, becoming more people who are reaching out to one another in acts of charity. I was um, reading ARP magazine, and I imagine there's a number of you who get ARP magazine. And uh, so one of the, uh, it was talking about an upcoming um, a feature coming up, uh, a, a writer, and a writer who talked about uh, well, what brings happiness, okay? And well, well, whether it's happiness in, in retirement or happiness in life, and I didn't, the article wasn't there, it was kind of a, a preview saying, watch for it. But it was the three Ps, okay? Purpose, people, and play. And that kind of struck me that the three Ps are important for all of us, that well, most importantly is purpose. What is our purpose in life? What are we to do? What's our purpose as a, as a, a, a child, as a son or daughter? How do we live out that purpose? How do we live out that purpose and love for one another? So that this, we have to have a, a purpose in life and a meaning in life, they, uh, something that gives us meaning. And there's many things that gives us purpose. And uh, as I kind of look towards my retirement from administrative responsibilities of a pastor, uh, you know, I kind of get more reflective. And what is the purpose? What is the purpose of um, what am I going to be doing? And... Uh, I feel good about my ministry and how I hopefully have brought people closer to God here. And I see that as one of my most important purposes. Uh, we have, uh, by the way, there was, uh, did you read the, uh, there's uh, the South Town has, has an article about me. So you'll have to, uh, uh, check it out. And the quotes me by saying, he said, with Jesus as divine, we have worked together in the vineyard of the Lord as his missionary disciples, bearing much fruit. So uh, that, uh, that's something that I said, and I truly believe that. So that our purpose, and we need people in our life. And I'm hoping to with retirement, that I could uh, uh, get together with people more often, my own family and friends, uh, and make that a priority. And then play. Um, you know, I, I, you, many of you know I enjoy skiing, uh, uh, running, and, uh, the, and you know, I was talking to a parishioner after mass, uh, after the eight o'clock mass, and that parishioner was inviting me to play pickleball in the morning. Uh, so that, you know, these are things too that I think about in my retirement. So um, I am very, I am very grateful and thankful for having been your pastor for 11 years. And I do feel very honored with that. And thank you for all your love and support, and that, you know, I continue to say it's not just what I do, it's what we do. What, where, what do we do? How do we share our faith? How do we help others? How do we bring people to church, reaching out to them and inviting them to church? Because we are the sheep of the Lord, and Jesus is the shepherd. So that you have Father, Father Fred, who will he'll be, uh, who, who will continue his uh, priesthood and his ministry here with you, and we have 
our, our new pastor, he'll be, uh, he's already arrived, okay? And he'll be at the uh, next weekend at all masses, Father Matt Latek. And uh, I'm sure he'll be introducing himself to each of you. And he's a local boy, grew up in Evergreen Park. So that, uh, you know, pray for him, welcome him uh, as part of the St. Catherine of Alexandria family. And what I'd like to do is uh, just end with a joke. You know, we gotta have, we gotta play, we gotta have fun, right? We gotta be able to laugh. And I have a little joke too to leave you with. So there's this priest walking through the woods, enjoying nature. And then all of a sudden, uh, he's, there's this bear in the distance. And the bear begins to start running, uh, chasing the priest. So as the priest uh, runs faster and faster, so does the bear. And then the priest trips and the priest looks up to heaven and says, Oh God, make this bear a Catholic. Well, the bear runs up to the priest on the ground, stands up on his hind legs, puts his hands together, and says, Bless us, O Lord, and these thy gifts. Should we not have fun at Mass and laugh too, right? The joy of the Lord. Oh. I believe the Father, the Almighty, of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, but the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under a pleasant pilot, suffered, died, and was buried. And from the dead, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Trusting in God, who created us to be imperishable and rejoices in our redemption, we give you voice in our we give voice to our needs and those of our brothers and sisters. For the church, that we may bring comfort, life, and joy to those who mourn su and suffer, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those suffering from chronic illness or long-term disabilities, that they may find the strength to per persevere with the help of loving care, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all military, police, firefighters, and first responders, may they be kept safe from all harm, as they serve and protect us, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That as we celebrate our independence this week, we may also recognize our dependence on one another and on God, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That human life may be treasured at every stage, from conception to natural death, and every point in between, and in every person, 
no matter their stage in life, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That God will turn our hearts to all the suffering people in the world, especially those helped by the Peter's Pence Collection, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all whom we remember today at Mass, especially Patsy Kehoe, Julie Murray, Karen Singer, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the sick, especially Kitty Turkowski, Hannah Canal, Tom Sabinski, Geraldine Alberch, Diane Sirik, Eileen O'Connor, and all those listed in our parish bulletin and book of prayer intentions, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our dearly departed loved ones, especially Mary Moreno Sosa Frasic and Bill Morrison, Mike Semar, that they may rest in the peace of Christ, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the prayers we hold in the silence of our hearts, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, you offer your healing touch to those in need. Heal us of our maladies, whether physical, spiritual, or communal, as you grant the prayers we make through the one who brought you new life to the world, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. O oh God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant we pray that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God through Christ our Lord. For at the last supper with his apostles, establishing for all the Asians to come the saving memorial of the cross, he offered himself to you as an unblemished lamb, the acceptable gift of perfect praise, nourishing your faithful by this sacred mystery. You make them holy so that the human race bound by one world may be enlightened by one faith and united by one bond of charity. And so we approach the table of this wondrous sacrament so that bathed in the sweetness of your grace, bounded by one world, we may be enlightened by one faith and one charity. And so we approach this table bathed in the sweetness of your grace and with all the creatures of heaven sing a new song in adoration as with the hosts of angels cry out and without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord of your God, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest You are indeed holy, O Lord the font of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, it entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, 
we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, and his auxiliary bishops, and all the clergy, and all your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. And with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Catherine of Alexandria, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy. my roof. Only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Body, blood, of Christ, keep us safe for eternal life. Amen.
And at this Mass, we have communion under both species. The precious blood will be as you come forward on the right side, both in up front and in the middle of church. I feel discouraged Why should the shadows come Why should my heart be lonely And long for heaven and home When Jesus says my portion my constant friend is he, his eyes on the sparrow, and I know he watches me, his eyes on the sparrow, and I know I sing because I'm happy. I sing because I'm free. For his eye is on the sparrow. And I know he watches me. your heart be troubled. His tender word I hear, and resting on His goodness, I lose my doubts and fears. Though by the path He leadeth, but one step I may see, his eyes on the sparrow, and 
and I know He watches me. His eyes on the sparrow, and I know He watches me. I see. spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you, Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. And today, one of our, as I begin the announcements, I'd like to point out that. Uh, we, not only is this person a, a new parishioner, but also a new cantor. And uh, why don't you introduce him, okay, Phil? This is Sylvan, um, and he's, he's one of our new cantors, so let's welcome him. And you see that the remodeling of our church vestibule continues. Uh, church is open. And for the 8.30 Mass, people in the morning, during the week, people are reminded to use the north parking lot and those doors to enter. A reminder to, to return your Father's Day remembrance envelopes. The 8.30 morning Mass on the third Tuesday is offered up for your intentions. And our school is looking for highly qualified professionals who love helping children. Positions are listed in the bulletin. Registration for religious education, which begins on September 8th, are in the back of church, online, or the rectory. We also have vacation Bible camp that will start on July 15th. Registration forms are in the back of church. Both adult and youth counselors are needed 
and the volunteer form is in the bulletin. This is a great opportunity for service hours. And I invite you to join us for Mass this Thursday, July 4th. And because it's a special Mass, we'll start at 9 o'clock to celebrate our independence. Come to Mass to give thanks for our country's many blessings and for our freedom. And I also then, how is this Mass going to end today because of the procession we will have? So that we will have the final prayer and closing. Uh, then I will recess out to the side and prepare for our Eucharistic procession. We will process with the Blessed Sacrament from three to two, three different, four different altars that are spaced around our grounds. And then we will conclude in church with benediction. So, and finally, uh, have I enjoyed being here as your pastor? Yes, I have. And I pray for you, and please pray for me. Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered receive, fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. We are marching in the light of God. We are marching in the light of God. The light of God. We are marching, marching. We are marching, marching. We are marching in the light of God. The light of God. We are marching, marching. We are marching, marching. We are marching in the light of God. We are dancing 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 in the light of God. We are dancing, we are dancing, dancing. We are dancing, oh, dancing. We are dancing in the light of God. the light of God. We are dancing, dancing. We are dancing, oh, dancing. We are dancing.